Can we just look at each other and just talk? Yeah, we just talk yeah. to each other. Welcome back to another session of WeChats. Well, welcome to WeChats. This is an opportunity for you to kind of be a fly on the wall on some of the conversations that Ellie and I have. This is Welcome to another session of WeChats. Um, they were, uh, our topic today is going to be about the hats of a business owner mm. and the many facets uh, and many hats that they do wear during business. Mm. So usually when you start a business, you start a business because you've got a skill set or you, and a passion, but usually you've got a really um, a skill set that you um, can sell or a product or a service that you're good at that you, that you can sell. Um, what usually happens though is most business owners don't have the full skill set that you need. Um, as a business owner to run a good business. Some do, but not all do. And um, I mean, there's so many different hats. There's you know, the marketing, there's the finance, um, you know, administrational roles, IT staff. Um, yeah, it's very rare that you'll find one person that can do everything. Yeah, so the trick is, is to know what skill set you have and also I guess what time you've got. Um, and then have a look at what tasks and um, skills don't you have and how can you best bring those into your business and there's so many different ways of doing that so one way of doing that is to outsource or you could um, if you need like a virtual assistant you might do that virtually you might not hire an actual PA you might not need them for a full 20 or 40 hours you might just have a few different things that need to be done each week in which case a virtual assistant um, might work. Otherwise, you could employ a staff member um, if you have um, the budget for that and you've got um, enough workload for a person. Then, then that's another option too, is to hire somebody. So you've got lots of different options for you and how you can help to cover that range of skills that you are lacking in your business. But that'll also help give you um, time to focus on. You know, working on your business as opposed to in your business and doing those kinds of things. Well, we do have professionals out there that this is what they do. Um, and so we look at that, um, those avenues where we can, I guess, uh, replace yourself. Um, and I guess an example that we have is um, when, I, when we first started um, we accounting, I was the marketing, and um, one of the first things that I was looking at was a website. And so I decided to build my own. <laughs> And yes, when I showed it to Wendy, she had a good laugh at it. <laughs> Let's just say Ellie won't make any money from building websites. <laughs> um, so I knew that in order for us to be seen and um, taken seriously, that we needed a good website and um, not one that looked like an A4 piece of paper on a screen, which is what it looked like. Um, so I did say to Ellie, look, we actually need to invest some money into getting someone who can do this for us properly, set up some really good SEO, so that search engine, engine optimization in Google, um, and we did that. So we did we did invest some money into that. We got an external company to do that for us, and then about six months after that, we were hitting the first page of Google for um, organic search on Google, and we've been hitting that now ever since. So and that was from the first you know sort of six months of us being a business. So. Um, you know, we could have stuck with the uh, budget website that Ali did, um, but we decided to invest money. We didn't need to hire um, a new person to come in and do that for us as a full-time job. We knew that that was something that we could outsource and we did that. Um, and I guess another, if we talk about apps and all that sort of stuff, um, that for your Zero accounting software, uh, for your accounting software, if you are not using Zero at the moment, then that's one that we highly recommend that you use. Um, there are so many reasons that Xero um, is good for your business. Um, if you want to know more, we'll probably talk more about that I think in some, one of our WeChats right. coming up. Yes. But um, you feel free to give us a call, we can talk to you about how Xero can help you and help your business. Um, and it definitely saves business owners so much time and there's just so much transparency in that too. So if you're looking for something for finance, um, Xero is a, a definitely a great option for you. Hopefully that helps. I mean, there's so many different hats of a business owner, um, and if you we do run sessions on looking at what those hats are in your organisation, 
and um, uh, we can help give you some ideas on where you might want to look, who you might want to look for to start filling some of those gaps that maybe you're lacking. So if you're interested in that, you can give us a call. Um, otherwise, hopefully that's been of assistance to you today. Thank you.